Columbus Day weekend in the Stockade District of Uptown Kingston is marked by a repetitive symbol in storefronts on banners and flyers all over town. Named for the most commonly shared blood type, the O Positive Festival employs the age-old barter system to exchange music and art for care. The basic philosophy of O Positive that everybody should be well and that we are all, in a sense, artists and that we are all, in a sense, part of the part of wellness. Dr. Art, as he's referred to by clinic volunteer and staff, is a medical director at Columbia Memorial Hospital in Hudson, New York. He organizes O Positive's main attraction, the pop-up wellness clinic at the Kirkland Hotel. In exchange for performing or displaying their work, 95 different providers are on hand to treat artists to a bevy of different services. Musicians, just like athletes, are susceptible to similar types of wear and tear injuries. Repetitive motions from playing or painting can cause muscle damage, and heavy lifting, moving and dragging can damage the spine. Without proper access to health care, Rissman says the underinsured often ignore their symptoms or put off getting help until the situation reaches a crisis. <laughs> Becoming one of the artists for the O Positive Festival is getting harder and harder. In its fourth year, word is getting out about this communal exchange of the art of medicine for the medicine of art. This year, over 200 bands from all over the world applied for 35 spots, and 90 artists applied to do one of the 30 murals. Artists are chosen by a panel, and festival goers are given programs to guide them from location to location. The O Positive Festival isn't just changing lives of those who participate in it or attend, it's also had a significant impact on the city of Kingston. There are fewer and fewer empty storefronts in the city's historic stockade district, and more and more artists are moving up from New York for the cheaper rents on apartments and studio space. Kingston Mayor Shane Gallo says partnering with O Positive is actually a catalyst for economic development. I do know for a fact a number of the restaurants uptown last year from the festival indicated that they did more business and attracted more newcomers in that one weekend than in three months of being opened. The idea of treating medicine as a form of art is starting to take off across the country. This November, San Francisco will hold its own O Positive Festival, and teams from Easton, Pennsylvania and Vermont were visiting to see how they could bring O Positive to their communities. I'm Jenna Flanagan for Metro Focus.